Greetings folks and uh, welcome to my first Boost live performance. I can't see myself, but that's okay because I can't see you either. Uh, some of you have come a long way to, uh, to be here. We've got people from the Gold Coast, Melbourne, Sydney, Christchurch, Torbay. Thank you so much for, um, for coming along. Also special thanks to Ella and the team at Boosted for hosting this event and of course I'm not the only one streaming this uh, this Anzac weekend. There's some uh, awesome talent also that have been performing, Black Grace, Don McGlashan, Bryony Matthews. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty amazing. So uh, this is of course about the Cancer Diaries and um, my experience with prostate cancer and uh, during my uh, radiation treatment, not while I was on the machine of course, um, I uh, started writing some songs that uh, are becoming the Cancer Diaries. And um, yes, I'm just going to refresh, refresh my page to see if I can see me. Um, no, I can't, but hopefully you can, because uh, it's, oh, actually, there might be a delay again. We'll see what happens. Anyway, all good. So um, I started on this project, and uh, when I got to the fourth song, which is Dare to Dream, and it'll be the grand finale, and I decided I wanted a gospel choir on it, it was getting all a bit intimidating, and it stalled. So, uh, coronavirus. The uh, first song I'm going to do sort of hit home in, in relation to COVID and the lockdown and what's going on with businesses, because um, when I was travelling around the States, I saw the consequences of some of the businesses that um, were went down in small towns, and basically the small town um, ended up virtually totally unemployed, and I saw some of those where everyone was uh, on benefits or no benefits and not working. And so I wrote the song called If You're Listening. There's a young boy on the corner Sitting on a garbage can His red rimmed eyes are looking at the sky He says, Santa, if you're listening can you bring my dad a job? Since they closed the plant, we're barely getting by. Santa, if you're listening, I sure could use some help. My mom is lying, crying in her room. I don't need no toys or such. I'll just do my chores. And please, Santa, can you make it happen soon? In the bedroom sits his mother and she's staring at the wall Her eyes glazed over, can't see through her tears She says, God, if you're listening, can you help my family? The food is low and the rent is overdue God, if you're listening, I sure could use some help Husband's tried most everywhere he can I don't need no Christmas tree or fancy clothes to wear I just hope that you have a plan All oh, the same could happen to you or me If you see someone in misery Throw them a lifeline if you can It don't have to be much just a friendly voice and a loving touch can be all it takes to lend a helping hand. And she said, God, if you're listening, I sure could use some help. My husband's tried most everywhere he can. I don't need no Christmas tree or fancy clothes to wear. I just hope that you have a plan. So I'm operating on trust here because I can't see you. Oh, no, look, look where you are. You could have got dressed. <laughs> I would have appreciated that. Yeah, no, seriously, um, I can't see a thing, but I'm, uh, I'm 
confident in the team that uh, you're all there. So a lot of my treatment was easy. I just did as I was told. Went to work most days. Occasionally I might get a few kilometres down the road and decide that um, I really wasn't, wasn't with it. And sometimes uh, things got a little bit frustrating. I still have a sip of my water and honey here. I've been singing, singing too much. So I need to line the throat just a little bit. So um, one of those days, I grabbed my favourite director's chair, or my only director's chair, and I lifted it up in this room that I'm in at the moment, uh, as high as I could, and I smashed it on the ground, smashed the chair, ripped a hole in the carpet, and won't um, go over the discussion that happened after that, um, but uh, that resulted in this song. <laughs> called If I Could Turn the Tables. If I could turn the table I'd unthrow the chair that I'd have smashed I'd unrip the carpet that had torn when it flew down and crashed Sometimes I feel that I can take no more Sometimes I derail from my track I've got to get this cancer in control And find my way back If I could turn the table I don't say the words that I just said I'd turn down the volume of the thoughts That keep crashing through my head Sometimes I feel like I'm okay Then the doubts start to shiver down my back I've got to climb out of this hole And find my way back Positivity is the frame of mind I want to be in all the time Everyone is nice and they want want to give advice of a treatment they've heard of down the line. If I could turn the table, I'd unthrow the chair that I'd have smashed. I'd unrip the carpet that it tore when it flew down and crashed. Sometimes I feel like I can take no more. Sometimes I derail from my track I've got to get this cancer in control And find my way back Yeah, I've got to get this cancer in control And find my way back Okay so um, there's another interesting thing that happened to me during this experience. I uh, had this cloud of fatigue and um, I'm, I'm assuming it was from the radiation. And uh, also I stopped producing much adrenaline, which is really interesting. So I'd be on the motorway and someone would slam on their brakes in front of me and uh, I'd slam mine on because I had good reactions, but I didn't get that thump, thump, thump of the heart that... Um, uh, brings out your, your fight or flight instinct. We used to spend weekends, um, long weekends like Anzac weekend this weekend uh, up at Mangafai with, with uh, very good friends and uh, they decided that uh, we decided that we'd go out ocean kayaking. I used to ocean kayak back in the day myself and, and had my own boat and uh, so I knew what I was doing um, but yeah lacking in energy. So we are out at Mangafai Heads and we were going to cross the estuary to start off and uh, there's quite a strong current. Um, there were fizz boats going up and down and uh, so we, we headed off and um, I was being dragged more than, than moving uh, towards this very large catamaran. I was heading for the centre of it between the two pontoons and so I was paddling like mad and then just as I thought I was getting somewhere, this uh, large launch came past, probably doing more than the five knots they were supposed to, and I canned out. 
So I'm lying upside down in my kayak and looking looking around, all very interesting, no adrenaline, and I thought I'd better get out, so I pulled down the uh, spray skirt and uh, kicked myself out. I didn't have the energy to um, get back into the kayak in the water, so I swam to shore and, and uh, dragged it with me. And then I found that I couldn't find the words to explain what had happened to me. I couldn't say, I couldn't think of wake or um, current, and that was really weird. So that resulted in this song called Who Stole My Words. Now what you're going to hear is quite different to, I think, what the finished product's going to be like. I think it's uh, going to be quite jazzy. It's going to be a bit of a, a sort of a Rufus Wainwright sort of sound with a, with a, uh, a bass with a, with a nice offbeat. So it'll be quite different, but you'll get the idea anyway of the, the concept. <laughs> Who stole my words? Who stole my words? It's one thing being tired, it's another when your brain feels fried. Who stole my words? Who stole my words? This cancer fatigue is something I don't need. Sometimes. The crisp and clear And sometimes They just disappear Who stole my words Who stole my words Does dementia feel like this Verbal paralysis The other day I was at the bridge I saw some I tried to tell you But it was in vain I knew what it was Couldn't say its name Sometimes The crisp and clear And sometimes They just disappear So yeah, that was that. I'm just checking how I'm going on time, I'm doing good. So um, I was reading this uh, story online somewhere, I can't even remember where, many years ago, and I read this Dear John story about a woman who uh, had been in Iraq and serving, and uh, she went back stateside, and her knowing her husband was waiting for her was holding her together. And uh, when she got home, she found that her husband was actually no longer in a relationship with her. He'd found someone else. And it turned out that it was quite a common story. Excuse me. I um, visited a whole lot of mill blogs, and military blogs, and, and spoke to people that were serving over there. I donated songs that could be uh, played, royal, downloaded, played royalty-free for them. And... Uh, on a trip to the States with my daughter Trace, um, I uh, went to play in a biker-friendly bar in Florida. And it was a bar a bit like Coyote Ugly at the bar in Ithaca, if you saw that movie. Sawdust on the floor, a whole load of Harleys out the front. and um, Yeah, it looked sort of really impressive, but a little bit intimidating as well. And uh, I performed the song, and uh, after I'd finished the song, the song's called Another Stretch in Iraq. And after I've performed the song, these three big, burly, six-foot-something blokes came up to the stage, and one of them had tears in his eyes, and I thought, should I have offended someone? I'm in trouble. I'm about to get smacked in the middle of nowhere in Florida. And um, But no, they said it took them right back to Desert Storm that where they'd served, and um, one of them was saying that his son was um, heading off for his first tour in theatre um, in a couple of weeks in Iraq, and... Uh, yeah, they, they really liked it, so uh, I'm glad that I was able to do the experience justice. So this is another stretch in Iraq. I 
was walking on an empty street My feet were marching to a lonely beat I had you on my mind I kept on walking though my feet were sore There was no procrastinating I could take no more I wanted to leave you far behind I served my time on the sand in Iraq While you were making hay with my good friend Mac How could I have been so blind? Thinking of you helped me keep my cool Little did I know you played me for a fool Feel like I'm gonna lose my mind well, I might as well sign up for another stretch There's nothing left to keep me here in life, bitch At least in the army I know where I stand Serving the country in a foreign land Citrep says it's all haywire It's home where I got shot the friendly fire I'm going back Home is where I thought I wanted to be And I'd rather have a Bradley and an MRE Even in Iraq It's a strange old world we're living in Don't know who you can trust, don't know where to begin now Gonna live my life one day at a time So it's Christmas time and the desert is cold My life is with the army if the truth be told They've got my back Mom and Dad sent a little Christmas tree They said that they were praying for the boys and me They said, get yourself back on track So I might as well sign up for another stretch There's nothing left to keep me here in life a bitch in the army, I know where I stand. Serving my country in a foreign land. Another stretch in Iraq. Alright, let's take a sip of my lemon. Sorry, not lemon, honey. Okay. So, some of you might know this one, and feel free to sing along. The other day I was uh, looking at Facebook, and you know how Facebook comes up and says, um, here's some memories you might want to uh, share with your friends. And it was a video that my daughter put up of my granddaughter at MOTAP, Museum of Transport and Technology. Um, and she was ringing me from a phone box. She'd never seen a phone box before. She'd never seen the, um, the type of phone and she was quite impressed when she was at this museum and she was able to ring and talk to me. She reminds me of the first um, video phone I used back in 1970 at Phillips headquarters in Antwerpen. Anyway, so that reminded me of a song and I hope I don't offend anyone with this, but it's a song called Telephone Card and it's a little bit of fun um, based on, yeah, the phone box. Seriously, you can sing along with this. Well, it's late at night and I want to go home, but I ain't got a card to call a cab on the phone. Mr. Patel, won't you give me a loan for a telephone card? Goodness gracious me, what is that on your wrist? Is that being a sacred cross? I must be pissed. If you give it to me, I will be giving you a loan for a telephone card. So I gave him a watch. I gave him a name. I said, I'll be back tomorrow. He says, what a shame, but I'm going to have to trust you when I loan you this $2 telephone card. And you can't buy food with a telephone card. Just some borrowed time on the telephone line. 20 cents a minute, how many words can you get?
get in before you're talking to yourself Life is mighty fine with a telephone call I'm in high regard with my telephone call Twenty cents a minute, there must be something in it for you and me So I'm walking down the road and to my surprise I find a telephone booth that's not vandalised but at least it's got a phone, two windows and a slot from a telephone card. So I put in my car, pick up the phone, dial the number and get ringing tone, push button A and there's 20 cents gone off my telephone card. Now the lady says taxi because that's the number I called. I said I want to go home. She says don't they all. She says how are you going to pay? I say I've got a telephone card. She says, that won't do, and I won't do at all. I said, how about visas? She says, now you're walking tall, but that wasn't a joke when you said you pay with a telephone card. And you can't buy food with a telephone card. Just some bar of time on the telephone line. 20 cents a minute, how many words can you get in before you're talking to yourself? Life is mighty fine with a telephone call I'm in high regard with my telephone call Twenty cents a minute, there must be something in it for you and me Well, she sounded kind of nice, so I asked her a name. She says, be back tomorrow. Oops, I'll try that again. Well, she sounded kind of nice, so I asked her a name. She says, I'm not telling you because I know your game. She says, hey, big spender, you can't date me on a telephone card. I said, listen here, lady. I was being polite. I'm standing here alone and the stars are shining bright and you wouldn't have a chance to talk to me tonight without my telephone card. She says, maybe you're right, perhaps I got it all wrong. I said, lady, let me tell you, I won't string you along, but won't you pick me up, because there's more to me than my telephone card. She says, maybe you're the man that I've always desired. I said, hurry right along, because I don't want to get tired, and that was round about the time my $2 expired on my telephone card. I could almost hear you. Okay. I, um... Yeah, I'm going to do this. All right. Um, residents at Murawai Beach are getting a bit worried about... Um, sorry, just looking at how much time I had there. Look, look, beginning a bit worried about people with COVID when we go down to level three, that they're all going to flock down to the beach. And I was thinking, yeah, well, that's a pretty big beach, you know. It's, um, it goes for miles. And um, I don't really think it's going to be that much of a problem. But it's a great place to go for long walks and clear your head. I'm walking down the iron sand on Murawa Beach. There ain't no use in calling, cause my phone is out of reach. Bitter words were spoken. We were both on attack And once they've left your lips It's hard to take them back And I don't even recall what we were fighting for But it must have seemed important at the time Now I'm all alone Between the sand dunes and the foam And I'm wondering what'll happen down the line I just keep on walking cause don't know what to do Or maybe it's because I'd rather be here than with you I just keep solitude comes honesty And introspection flows as life Salty air mingles with tears, emotions to expose 
And I don't even recall what we were fighting for But it must have seemed important that time Now I'm all alone between the sand dunes and the foam And I'm wondering what'll happen down the line Time's gone a lot faster than I expected. I uh, had promised a COVID-19 parody, and I'm not going to have time to fit that in. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm performing again next week, same time, same place. And uh, if you want to hear my parody, which I think it's not bad, uh, come back then, uh, because I've got one more song that I want to end on. It's a short one, so I should be able to just fit it in. And... Um, I want to dedicate this to Lee Rush, my dear friend and colleague, and some other people who helped me through some tough times. And uh, they were worse off than I was, which was the reason why I called it, isn't it ironic? When I'm down on the ground, where do I go from here? I'm feeling flat. Well, fancy that I'm feeling sorry for myself I ought to feel ashamed I get another day Others aren't so lucky But my friend says In the morning I put on my face Wipe away my tears I need to fight with all my might Put on a happy face Take off that frown Bringing others down Impact my fate Isn't it ironic The people you use as a tonic Are worse off than you but my friend says, in the morning, I put on my face, wipe away my tears, you don't see me then. I've trained myself, sometimes it works, I paint a picture that I 
to the herd. Well, I do believe my time's up. I want to thank you all for coming. You've been an awesome audience. And uh, there's nothing a songwriter likes more than when people listen to their lyrics, because that's obviously when I'm giving from my heart to yours. So thank you very much. If you enjoyed that, please tell someone. I believe that this might uh, be visible on my site uh, during this page for the next week or so. And next Sunday, I'll be here again for half an hour, and I promise I'll do that um, COVID song and some others that you may not have heard, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you then. So, uh, yeah, on the way out. Good night.